Hello friends, uh, it's Roast Beef, here today with a guide or tips and tricks video on fishing in New World. And I've got at least eight critical tips and tricks you need to know to be fishing the best way possible, get the best loot, the largest fish, the most XP, etc, etc. Um, and I figured today I would do a live recording, I usually do like a narration over pre-streamed content. But I thought I'd try it this way, see if you guys like it better. Um, I'm live every day, not every day. I'm live Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 7 to 11 p.m. So if you guys want to check out the stream, come by there. And if you enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe. And let me know what other guides you want and tips and trick things you want so I can make those for you. With that said, let's get into the guide. So the first thing I want to talk to you about fishing is when you're fishing, uh, there's actually a struggle indicator. So you take out your fishing rod, you equip your bait, uh, you cast it out in your body of water. Um, once you do... So if you watch, I can't point to it with my finger, but if you watch um, where my indicator is, after I get a bite, if the fish is struggling, there will be ripples around the fish. So right now, it's not struggling. Or actually, it is. I lied. Now it's not struggling because there's no ripples. When there are ripples around the fish, if you try to reel it in while it's struggling, your tension will increase faster and you'll break your line. On the flip side, if you only pull in while it's not struggling, your tension will hardly increase. Um... This doesn't seem to be too important for a lot of fish, but it can make fishing just a little bit easier. And it's a neat little thing that I didn't notice for the longest time because I was just mindlessly casting my thing and pulling in as until I got to red and then I'd let it go back down to zero. And I rinsed and repeated that a lot. Um, and I found out later that that's not the proper way to do it. So you can see this one, I get to over halfway done before it starts to struggle. And then I just kind of, when it's struggling, you want to kind of keep it bare minimum. And then once it stops struggling, you can probably finish up the cast. Um, or if it just keeps struggling, oh, there it goes, it stopped. But yeah, so that's the first real good tip is that when the fish is struggling, don't reel it in because it messes up your tension. Um, the second tip I want to talk to you about is you don't actually have to have bait to fish. When you equip your fishing rod for the first time, you'll just have a screen like this where it says to equip bait, but it doesn't show anything. Now, fishing without bait the key difference in with or without bait is that when you equip bait, your bite time will be faster. And when you equip bait, your chances for better or bigger fish will increase depending on the bait. So with this firefly bait, you can see um, when I cast with firefly bait in fresh water, I have a large chance, which is some unknown amount, to increase my chances or to get a better fish, meaning a higher rarity. Um, but you can catch fish and junk and all sorts of goodies with no bait it works um it's kind of nice because you don't have to grind for it but what you'll notice very quickly is when you fish with no bait it takes a long time like you will sit probably for anywhere between 15 and 30 seconds if you've got no bait um waiting for a bite and then but once you get a bite it's similar but you will probably get lower quality fish um but yeah so that one's a pretty straightforward one you don't have to gather bait if you do want to, you should get better fish, bigger fish. Um, if you want to gather bait, you can get it from gathering bulrushes near what bodies of water. You can get it from flint anywhere. And if there are briars, like over here, you can get another kind of bait from there as well. Um, because I think these drop firefly bait, which is the best freshwater bait, and so on and so forth. Um, talking about bigger and better fish... Um, when you talk about XP gained per fish, I don't know if I can show this to you anyhow, but when you catch a gray fish, um, eat, so the XP per fish depends on the rarity and the size. If you catch a small fish of any rarity, it's the least amount of XP you can get for that rarity. For green or for gray, this is something like 100 to 120. So the smallest gray fish, a small salmon, for example, will give you like 100 XP and a large salmon, for example, of a large gray fish will give you about 120. Um, greens continue that starting at like 130 um, for the smallest to 150 for the largest. And then blues start 175 to 200 ish. Purples, I don't remember the numbers on. And then legendaries, which are catchable in every zone, give 500 XP per catch. But they're really rare, obviously, because they are legendary fish. Um, when it comes to leveling, fishing as efficiently as possible, you want to have your. Um, <clears throat> chance for better fish as high as possible because that levels you faster now the ways to get better fish is going to be fishing in a hot spot like this one here the way you can tell they're active or not is you'll have fish jumping out of it like you see on my screen 
when fish aren't jumping out of it, like you saw earlier in the video, that means the hotspot is depleted and fishing in it doesn't net you any benefit. And when I talk about the, the hotspots, I want to let you know that when you look at the map, it shows this big area as a hotspot. This whole area is not a hotspot. If you cast your line over here in this water over here, you get no benefit at all. The only time you get a benefit is when your line lands in this little circle right here. Um, but yeah, so the best way to get more XP faster is fish in hotspots, use bait, and get the fishing gear. So there's actually a fishing quest line that you can actually pick up from, there's an NPC right over here. I am right outside of Windsward, um, down center of the map. There's an NPC right about here who gives you a quest, which starts a long quest chain for fishing gear. Um, you can complete it quite a while. You probably want to be level 50 or so before you try and one-shot it because it takes you to higher level zones to turn some stuff in. But you can do it as early as you want, and once you finish it, you'll get three pieces of fishing gear. The Defiled Greaves, or you'll get... Sorry, that's not correct. You'll get Fisherman's Gloves, you'll get Fisherman's Pants, and you'll get the Fisherman's Chest Piece. And these all give you different bonuses that depend on the rolls you get. So this one gives me medium chance of better fish. Um, that's in any water, any time of day. This is medium chance for uh, medium boost to larger fish. And this gives me a medium boost to larger fish and a medium boost to better fish, which is really nice. Um, and so by fishing with fishing gear on, with good bait in your hot spots, you'll catch good fish. Um, now the key to knowing whether or not you have actually landed in the hot spot is when you cast, it's supposed to tell you you landed in a hot spot, but I haven't gotten that message in a while. The way I tell now is that when I cast into the hot spot, my bites occur almost instantaneously uh, at an average time of less than probably two seconds after my bait hits the water, I have a bite. So you can see here I cast, and one, two, and I've already got a bite. Um, and that tells me I've hit the hot spot. Um, and you keep fishing it until it goes back to that state it was before the video started, or I guess in the first half of the video where it was just kind of, the water looked kind of murky. You couldn't see any fish jumping out. The fish jumping out is really the key to, hey, this hot spot's active. Um, like I said earlier, since bite speed and fish quality are most important to leveling quickly, you want to try and only fish in hot spots. Um, and something to note about the hot spots is they are all over the world, but you can only fish in ones you can actually see on your map. And this is because if you go to your trade skills and look at fishing, you can see as you level your fishing, you unlock different hotspots, discoverable and trackable. Um, and sometimes your HUD will lie to you. Sometimes your HUD will say, hey, there's a three star right here. But if you haven't actually got the level for it, you can't go to it. Like I got bamboozled because I went down to Weaver's Fen. Or no, it wasn't Weaver's Fen. It was Rest. Yeah, it was Weaver's Fen. I just looked at the wrong spot on the map. There's a spot right here. This is a three star fishing area. But because I don't have the level for it, I can't use it. So I walked all the way over there and then I was like, oh, I can't use this. That's neat. Um, but you can see how I've unlocked this one. I can see it. But if I walk close to this spot here as well, it'll tell me, oh, there's a fishing hotspot. And I'll be like, oh, cool. And I'll walk close and I'll look at my map and I'm like, oh, actually you can't yet. So as you level your fishing, you get access to more and more hotspots, which lets you kind of get away from the busier zones. Because this one, honestly, there's no one here right now. And I'm pretty surprised. It's usually popular. Another really popular one is where you turn in your level 30 story quest to Jonas. There's a uh, fishing hotspot, a three-star fishing hotspot, right beside the fast travel point, which is super nice. Um, yeah. The next tip I have is, if you're not sure whether or not the water that you're fishing in is salt water or not, because obviously you have to equip your bait, whether it's fresh water or salt water, the easiest way to tell is put away your fishing rod and walk about knee-deep in the water. When you do, you'll be hit with this prompt, or you won't. And you see I'm about knee-deep in the water or waist-deep. If you get the collect fresh water prompt, it's fresh water. Easy. And if you don't get that prompt, it's salt water. And that's the quickest way to tell if the water is salt water or fresh water. You can kind of guesstimate, like if you're in an interior zone like this, it's almost always going to be fresh water. Um, but like when you're in Weaver's Fen, uh, sometimes, like always on the ocean, it's going to be salt water. But sometimes areas like this, you're not sure. Like, is this fresh water or salt water? I don't know. So just walk into it and check. Once you get just a little bit deep in the water, it'll give you that prompt. Like, I'm not even ankle deep right here. Um, yeah. Another tip for fishing is that you're running, if you're running low on gold, fishing can be a really good source of income. And this is for two reasons. Um, the first thing is that the large salmon you can catch. Oh, did I land in the hotspot there? I don't think I did. 
Tragic, yeah. So you saw how it took me more than a second or two to get a bite. That means I missed it. Um, there's supposed to be a prompt, but I haven't seen it in a while, so oh well. And there I get the quick bite. Um, when you catch salmon of any size... Uh, ooh, a treasure chest. I actually need that for my quest. That's amazing. I'll make sure to catch this. Um, treasure chests are really valuable because they contain iron ink. They can contain different metals, and they contain different gemstones, which can be valuable depending on what you catch. I'll go ahead and open this one to show you guys what you can get. Um, so I got jasper, I got onyx, and I got gold ingots. It's not worth a ton, but it's free gemstones for sitting here fishing. Um, sometimes they contain more, sometimes they contain less. Those used to give you gold, but they changed that, which is unfortunate because that was a really good way to get gold really quickly when it was like that. Um, otherwise, if you catch salmon or just any kind of fish, because fishing is a little bit slower, like you can see how long it's taking me to just sit here and fish, and some people don't enjoy it. I like it. Fishing's fun for me. And now that I've figured stuff out and I can tell it to other people, I enjoy it more. Um, but when you salvage fish, you can get fish oil and fish fillets and firm fish fillets. And those are actually pretty valuable on the market because a lot of people don't do it. So you'll see I'll, I'll salvage a small pike and I'll get one fish fillet and potentially fish oil. If you go to the market and sell these, in fact, let me go ahead and uh, I'll just, I'll go ahead and walk to the, I'll go ahead and walk to Windsor. So I will cut the video back when I get to town and show you. If you go to towns and sell your fish fillets or your firm fish fillets or your small medium and large salmon those items are all used for um town quests or town board quests which a lot of people who are leveling will use to get xp quickly and depending on where you are you can make a ridiculous amount of money off of a single fish sometimes like the large salmon um on this server right now large salmon sell for 40 to 50 gold each so if you happen to have 10 large salmon which is a large number of them but if you have 10 of them that's 500 gold in your pocket Pretty much instantaneously. Um, same thing with fish fillets because they're always going to be town board quests for them uh, and fish oil. So if I just look up fish oil, I'm, I don't know what it costs right now. So it's 190. So you salvage a couple of fish, you get some fish oils, and these are town board quests that sell constantly on the server. And if you can go further away, let's. I think I've kind of screwed the market over in Brightwood. No, Brightwood. You go to Brightwood, you can sell it for over twice the price or even like 10 times if people were to buy it, and people do. I have fallen for this. I have bought fish oil for 25 a pop before, and I feel stupid for having done so. Make your money off of people who are not looking at markets and who are impatient to run and fish themselves. Uh, same thing with like fish fillet, both the firm one and the uh, regular one. They make a good bit. You can get that from almost every fish you catch. Um, if we look up salmon here, there's they're also fairly valuable. Um, 349 each for the small ones medium uh shoot I, just, I should have typed in salmon instead but medium sell for 12 each and this is the cheapest on the entire server and then large salmon are going to be i think i have the cheapest one listed at 35 or, yeah these sell for 35 plus each and people buy them constantly so yeah fishing is a decent way to make money if you have nothing else to do or you don't have good tools uh you can do the quest to get better gear and yeah that wraps up my guide and tips and tricks on fishing. Yeah, with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you like, subscribe, come check out the stream. I'm live Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 7 to 11 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Um, and if you have any questions, post them in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, with all that said, hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget. You ready? Keep it beefy, boys. See you next time. Hello there.